Hi, my name is Dan Miller. I'm the National Training Manager for Marantz. Today I'm doing an Audio Advisor exclusive video on our new top of the line Audio Video THX certified receiver. This receiver is called the SR8002 and it has some of the audio file features that you typically would not expect to find in a home theater receiver. Things like a toroidal power supply for massive amounts of current delivery, a copper chassis for isolation from both internally generated and externally generated RFI and EMI interference that could interfere with what you're trying to listen to. It is also an HDMI 1.3 receiver, which means it gives you the latest surround sound decoding capability. So from either Blu-ray or HD DVD discs, we can decode Dolby True HD, Dolby Digital Plus, DTS Master Audio, DTS High Definition, uh, all of the latest surround sound formats. In addition, it has four HDMI 1.3 inputs and two HDMI 1.3 outputs. Uh, to top it off, things like the ability to do XM radio, uh, it has a uh, built-in HD radio tuner, which on the front panel of the receiver would give you things like the song title, the radio station that you're listening to, and any other types of metadata that you might need. To show you how we have enabled this receiver to integrate easier into a home theater system, let me show you some of the things on the back panel to make interconnectivity easy for the consumer. Starting with the HDMI section. As I mentioned before, we have the latest HDMI 1.3 ports. Now, HDMI is the latest method that we have of moving digital audio and video signals from point A to point B and is copy protected to protect artist content. This has the latest HDMI 1.3 inputs, and there are four of them for Blu-ray, HD DVD, uh, digital set-top boxes, satellite decoders, and anything that we might have in the future, and we can decode the latest versions of surround sound with them. There's also two HDMI outputs. This enables you to actually connect up two different television sets and choose between which video signals you might be looking at. We have four component inputs along with a full complement of S-video and composite video inputs, a full set of remote inputs to control it both from external uh, IR receivers or an IR repeater system that could flash directly into the back panel of the receiver instead of using the front panels. Uh, we also have DC trigger outputs on the back which enables you to trigger devices like projector lifts, uh, screen drops, masking panels on screens, uh, uh, things that make custom installation much much easier. All of the speaker terminals that we're using have banana jacks on them uh, so that you don't have to deal with bare wire connections anymore. Uh, there is a detachable power cord and finally an RS-232 input for external control solutions such as Crestron, AMX, or Control 4. Underneath the front panel of the receiver is a microphone jack for the Odyssey Auto Calibration System. The Odyssey Auto Calibration System is the only system in the industry that listens to your room in multiple locations and, in addition to correcting for tonal balance, corrects for time alignment. The Odyssey system listens to up to six different locations of your room and records phase interaction of the speakers and the room along with tonal balance inaccuracies and develops a correction curve for both. Thanks for taking the time to watch this today. This was an Audio Advisor exclusive on the Marantz SR8002 receiver.